Thank you for clicking this video. This is Asif Ahmed once again in front of you with another new video. And today in this video, I'm going to share five most common idioms that are used by native speakers. So if you want to understand the native speakers, you should know these five idioms. And you can use these idioms in your speaking. So I hope you will like this video. So please watch this video until the end. Five most common idioms in English. Let's get started. So number one, I am broke. I am broke means I have no money or I can't afford to pay for something. I am broke. It's not I am broken. I am broken means I am injured or in bad shape in some way. So I am broken means I am injured or I am in bad shape in some ways. But I am broke means I have no money. Like you can say, I can't buy this, I am broke. I can't buy this, I am broke. I can't go to the concert, I am broke. I can't go to the concert, I am broke. I can't order pizza today, I am broke. I can't offer pizza today, I am broke. This idiom is commonly used by native speakers. So you can also use this idiom in your speaking. Remember, today I'm sharing some idioms. Those are actually informal. You cannot use those idioms in your writing. You can use those idioms in your speaking because those are informal, not formal idioms. Number two, piece of cake. Piece of cake means I'm so hungry, I want to eat a piece of cake. It doesn't mean that. Piece of cake means something easy achieved. It's a piece of cake means it's very easy. Like you can say, the exam was a piece of cake. The exam was a piece of cake. This job interview will be a piece of cake for you. This interview will be a piece of cake for you. That means this interview will be very easy for you. Don't think this task is a piece of cake. Don't think this task is a piece of cake. Means don't think it is very easy. So it's not a piece of cake, means it's not easy. And it's a piece of cake, means it's so easy. Number three, sleep on it. Sleep on it means I like a bed and I want to sleep on that bed. Oh sorry, it doesn't mean that. Sleep on it means think about it and make a decision later. Like you can say, I have heard your offer but I need to sleep on it. I have heard your offer but I need to sleep on it. Means I need to think about it and I will let you know my decision later. I have offered you the job so why don't you sleep on it? I have offered you a job, so why don't you sleep on it? I cannot buy this expensive car without sleeping on it. I cannot buy this expensive car without sleep on it. It doesn't mean I want to sleep on the car. I want to buy an expensive car and I need to think about it. Then I will make a decision whether I will buy it or not. I cannot buy this expensive car without sleeping on it. Number 4. I am in pink. I'm in pink means I'm wearing a pink dress. Sorry, it doesn't mean that. I'm in pink means I'm fine. For example, if someone asks you, you were sick last week, how are you now? Or how are you feeling now? You can say, it took a few days of bed rest, but I'm in the pink of health now. So I'm in pink refers a good condition of health. So if someone was sick and now he or she is okay, then you can say, Good to see you in the pink again. Good to see you in the pink again. Number five, what's cooking? I'm not cooking, why are you asking? Or you can say, I'm cooking biryani. Sorry, actually, what's cooking doesn't mean that. What's cooking means what's going on or what's happening or what are you thinking. Like you can say, Hi there, what's cooking? Are you going out? Hi there, what's cooking? Are we going out? So what's cooking means what are you thinking or what's going on, something like that. Or you can say, so what's cooking these days, how have you been? What's cooking these days, how have you been? So you can use what's cooking and instead of saying what are you thinking, what's going on, what's happening, something like that. What's cooking, this idiom is commonly used by native speakers. So these are the five common idioms. And there is another bonus idiom. Number six, miss the boat. Miss the boat? I'm not going anywhere by boat, so why I'm going to miss the boat? So actually miss the boat means too late. Like you can say, he missed the boat because he did not apply for the job in time. He missed the boat because he did not apply for the job in time. 
so he was too late to apply for the job. Do it as fast as possible you can or you are going to miss the boat. Do it as fast as you can or you are going to miss the boat. Means you are going to be late. I don't want to miss the boat today. I don't want to miss the boat today. Means I don't want to late today. So that's all about today's video. These are the six most common idioms used by native speakers. So you can use these idioms in your speaking, but remember those are really informal. So you can use those idioms in your speaking, not formal writing. So I hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please let me know that you like this video by liking, commenting and sharing my video. And if you are a new viewer in this channel, I would like to request you please watch my other videos in this channel. I'm sharing some videos which will help you to increase your English communication skills. So please stay connected. I will be uploading some other videos. And thank you very much for watching this video. See you some other day with some other videos. Bye. Take care.